at night, 1 a.m. We do not stop this grind. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Set a face. We did end up scoring on a grade school pair. Yeah, mom, bro. Appreciate it again. <laughs> 10 times better. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, guys, welcome back to another day in the life as a sneaker reseller. I think it's episode 14 right now. If y'all don't already know, stay focused, Frank here. I'm trying to make a living off reselling sneakers. So make sure y'all tap in with my journey. Hopefully, I inspire some of y'all to start reselling. It's been a kind of crazy day. I did sell a couple pairs on my Instagram story. I did some of the meetups already and I have to ship one of the shoes out. I also bought a lot of shoes and I have them in the trunk. And right now I'm going to buy some more kicks as we speak. So I'll see y'all in the first sneaker meetup. I know y'all can't see me, but as y'all can see right here, it is 1159 and it's about to be 12, but we still out here getting these sneaker deals because the hustle never sleeps. So you know we get into it. He responded with his address. I'm gonna go pick up some shoes right now. Yeah, it's someone I've done business with. That's why I'm meeting up with him this late. Cause y'all know like, it's so late out. Why are you meeting up with people? It's, it's people that I trust. It's people that I've done business before or people that are like super vouched for that are legit. Like they own a store or something like that. So I'm on the way right now. I think I'll be like five minutes away. After that, I have another sneaker meetup. Yeah, I'll show y'all everything that I copped when I land back to, ah! I'll see y'all soon. All right. All right, y'all, we basically pulling up right now. I'm gonna text him that we here. We about here and we just gonna pick up these shoes real quick and then go on to the next sneaker meetup. So we'll see y'all later. Shoes a card. Oh sh I didn't even. How's the reselling business going lately? Is it it's going good. I'm, I'm, I'm getting back to like buying like locally and shit. These are for. I got size uh, ten. Ten on on. Ten it? Uh. Need them. Nah. Don't need you chilling? Yeah. If it was like a bigger or like. Yeah, if it was a bigger size. I, I got bigger ones on there. The other one that's. Wait, uh, I got eleven and so twelve cool. in the um. What's it called? How the much sand. for these? Wait, sand or sofa? Whatever one that just came out, so I don't. They they both mm -hmm. look the same. Okay, I'll let you know on that. All right. But these ones are I'll cop. You said what? Uh, one fifty, right? Yeah, one fifty. I got you. That's your boy's friend, right? It's not. It's not. Exactly. I'll hit you up tomorrow about that. Where? Good looks, man. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. I'll send you my list. Yes, sir. I'll catch you, bro. Right, bro. Stay safe, bro. <laughs> Guys, literally, right before this, I was at a gas station. I was pumping up gas. I was on my phone. I was doing this and somebody comes up to me. He's like, hey, are you a TikToker? And by the way, everyone asked me if I'm a TikToker. At first it was YouTube. Actually, it was TikTok first. Okay, whatever. But I have more subscribers on YouTube than I have followers on TikTok. And when people say, are you a TikToker? I'm like, yeah. But I'm like, I'm a YouTuber, not a TikToker. But anyways, they asked, he was like, yeah, yeah, what's up? And I was like, hey, man. And he's like, I like what you're doing, blah, blah, blah. It re like, I really appreciate, this happened twice today. Uh, two people came up to me today. One while I was working out, one while I was at the gas station. I really do appreciate y'all who come up to me. It, it just catches me by surprise because like, I'm such an awkward dude, but like, I just, are you shaking the camera? Yes. But I'm, I'm an awkward dude, but like, I keep to myself. I just like making these videos. So I'm glad that y'all mess with it. And don't be afraid to say hi. Just make sure you're, you're not as awkward as I am. Actually, you can be awkward too. Let, we can be awkward together. It don't matter. It really don't matter. But let me show y'all what we caught today in the day in the life in the trunk. So as y'all can see, first meetup of the night. So as y'all can see, this is the Midas Dunk. I bought a used pair, not too bad condition, size 11. Now I did get a pretty good deal on these, but it does have a slight rip. You wanna make sure you always show your flaws because gotta be transparent with the shoes that you're selling. I got these right here for $65, a size 11. My dude always be blessing me. He, as y'all saw in the video, he's always blessing me with deals. Second shoe of the night, y'all already peeped. I bought, bought a pair of pure slides for a client. They didn't fit a size 10, so I had to go get a size 11 for them. Guys, if you wear a half size, like he wore a nine and a half, 
don't try to get a size 10 get a size 11 you want to go a full size up and since they don't have half sizes just go for that 11 so if you're a nine and a half get an 11. this was earlier today now y'all can peep so we got six shoes here i'm gonna show y'all all so we got oak foam runner okri size 11 and a half wave runners brand new size 11 and a half i'm, I'm gonna tell y'all i'm gonna tell you how much i got this whole lot for but i'm gonna show y'all these shoes. i already know heritage is these are sent for retail, but you know, clean shoe nonetheless. Buying shoes that are kind of under retail and they're new, it's hard to work around because when you're buying off somebody, you know, they want to get their money back or they want to make some money. These aren't doing too good, so it's kind of hard for me to give like a really good price to purchase these at. But I did end up copping them. Also, we got another brick size 11 7210 Jordan 11 lows. Then we got the real heaters, okay? Used pair of cool gray 11s, very good condition, as y'all can see. Not too bad. And last but not least, going for Tokes. I think this is probably the best shoe in the collection that I bought. One, two, three, four, five, six. All six of these shoes I got for 1180. 1180 divided by six. So each shoe was around $200 per pair. Do you think that was a deal or not? Let me know, guys. Y'all let me know if I got finesse, but I think it was a pretty good deal because these are going for 300 These are going for 350 300 you know. Only bricks I got to worry about are the Heritages and the 7210s. But as y'all can see, these are all the cops that were just done tonight. Tonight, and look, it's 1 a.m. We do not stop this grind. So basically, you know, I'm in college right now, so we got to pay off these debts. I got to resell sneakers to pay off some college debts. And also, you know, trying to make sure my mom don't work another day in her life. But we get to that point. She's still working, so we got to get to that point. These are all the cobs for today. I'm going to have to post them up tomorrow and see if I can get any sales on that. But anyways, guys, on to the next clip. All right, y'all, so it's the next morning, and I'm with TFG right now. We about to go to Nike, see if we can cop any heat. And... Yeah, we on our way right now, so I'll catch y'all on a few, all right? Yeah, we came up with a few things, I guess. Bow, bow. Hold on. Okay, okay. To the face. Look at all the shoes we copped. I'll show y'all later. We gotta ship this package right now. So we gonna do that. ASAP Rocky, yo, we just got exclusive access. Already got the men's. Let's see if I could check out for the grade school. Get a thing. Oh, damn it. This has got to be the worst, like, things that ever happen when they, like, deny access. I was literally about to check out on a grade school pair of some Jordan Force. Oh. Oh, let's get it. We still here. Let's see if it works. Oh, fuck. That size is not available, but okay. Let's try this one. Not available. Damn. All right, y'all. So today is the next day. We went back to Nike because some infrareds dropped. And as y'all can see, we did end up scoring on a grade school pair. I got one. Cameraman got one. It was only grade school because um sneakers, they had a sneakers pass for the men's size, but yeah. Um, we just pulled up at open, copped a few pairs. I got one on sneakers. Cameraman also got another one on sneakers. So we yeah. have like five pairs coming in. Yeah, overall successful drop day for the infrareds. But we're going to head back, probably just do some editing on some other vids. And we'll catch y'all in the next clip. All right, y'all. So this is some of the inventory that I bought. And I was just posting them up. Um, I posted a few pairs already. And I put them over here. Um, I put... These Heritage Ones up already. And also put up the 7210 Lows, which already sold. I sold them for under retail because I got a pretty good deal on them. Have to go do a couple sneaker meetups later tonight as well. But yeah, definitely got some more posting to do. I still have to post one, two, three, four, five, six shoes over here and some shoes over there. So got to post those and got a lot more heat coming in with these used pairs. I got to clean them up just a little bit. As y'all can see, the bottoms are a little bit dirty. So just clean them up, bring them up a little bit. And 
you know, straighten out the laces is all about presentation. And it'll look pretty good after that. Cause these look good already. There's not too much creasing. These ones, these ones need a little bit of work. As y'all can see, a little bit dirty, not too bad at all. Gonna do that, post these up. See if I get a couple more sales. All right, so we had a sneaker meetup right now. I just unboxed this package and he's right here waiting for me. Gotta open this up. This is my first time seeing it too. So you can open it, you can check it out. Or whatever. So yeah. Yeah, so you open that. Let me help you, let me help you. All right. Let's see if the... We can look at the shoes together because I haven't even seen them yet. They clean? Mm. Woo! Okay, okay. Okay. Good, good, good. I bet, yeah. Nah, they clean. That's... Make sure they come with both laces. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's my that's my man's that I got it off of. Shout out my boy. Free plug. That that. Yeah, my boy. Appreciate it, gang. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, y'all. Looks like we got some more inventory in this big box right here. I've been buying a lot more used inventory. Let's see what we got in this box. Pretty big. All right, y'all. We just unboxing this shipment right now. It's a lot of heat size, 10 and a half and 11, I think. Woo! Okay, okay, so first up we got Lightning Fours. Got Championship Dunks. Woo! University Blues. Pretty good profit on these. And then we got these boys right here. Patent breads. Got these for 180. So this is about the entire collection we got for today's shipment. Um, someone was just looking to get rid of their collection. It was all sizes 10 and a half to 11. So I'm gonna clean. I'm gonna clean the used pairs up, and they're all used. I'm gonna clean them all up, and then have them posted on Instagram. So if y'all follow my Instagram at Kiss with Frank, y'all can have a chance to purchase these if you're in the market for you know any of these shoes. So head over to my Instagram if you ever need some kicks. We cleaning some shoes right now. See the first one, dirty. This one, I already cleaned it, already dry. 10 times better. Like, stop playing, bro. Still using the cleaning kit that Factory Lace sent me. Gotta utilize it, man. I actually love the packaging they did, but yeah. I'm gonna finish cleaning these up and then have them posted by Monday because today is Father's Day. So, happy Father's Day if any fathers are watching. I don't know if you are, but if you are, happy Father's Day. So, after cleaning all those pairs, these are the these are some of the pairs that I posted on my story today and all of these right here are sold. So since today is Juneteenth, I can't ship them out right now. I'm gonna have them all packaged up by today and then ship them out tomorrow so y'all could get your shoes. I appreciate y'all shopping with me. I try to get the best deals possible. We still got some pairs left like these toe fours in some really good condition as y'all can see. If it's still on my story highlights, it is still available so you know pretty clean barely used let me know dms is always open oh and we also sold these heritage ones for under retail under retail i know they're not doing too well in the market but that's still a deal in my head man under retail so make sure y'all come and shop with me but yeah those are all the items that we had sold so far yes sir yes sir yes sir just cops on he at nike Yes, sir. All right, y'all, besides coming back from Nike, did go to a sneaker meetup, cop some Utility 12s, size 11, and also some Bordeaux 6s. Now I'm gonna have these cleaned up and then I'm gonna have them posted on my story, both size 11. All right, y'all, so here's some of the packages that we got. All right, guys, so here is all the packages that we got so far we got one two three four five six packages and we all shipping these out to various people various buyers appreciate everyone who's shopping with me and yeah we're gonna get these shipped out right away hopefully all y'all like your shoes all right we dropping them off right now